the Battle of Austerlitz. The first turn, the 8 a.m. turn, is now completed. Largely it was just maneuvering. No engagement yet. So we'll look quickly at the forces. Keenmeyer's men have moved up towards Telnitz. But they were, well, they're very far from the Tsar, but there is the Tsar rule that will in pack movement by each of the columns, and they were affected on this turn. So they managed to move these light troops up into the trees, but not to Telnitz itself. We see the French 3rd Regiment advance out of the town and took up line position just on the uh, ridge and line there. Sweeping back we see Keenmeyer's cavalry starting to move up towards the flanking position on Telnitz there. The first column, Doktorov's men, also were, also were inhibited by the Tsar, though he'd be far away. So they did not make very good movement on their objectives. So the next turn will be critical for them probably to get a force march. Langeron's second column and the third column each move their full allowance and they are moving towards their objectives of Kobolnitz and Puntowitz off there in the distance. Kolaras' fourth column marched towards the heights. They're slow, so they're not going to make very good time. Their goal is to get all that artillery up on the heights. Uvarov is making a dash down this stream for the town of Jerzykovitz. This is just a gamey move. It's to disrupt the French and capture that town for some victory points. Just to his north, we see Bagration has actually moved forward. He's not going to be quite as passive. He's moving up towards the very soft French lines. Again, his goal is not necessarily to attack and crush but to disrupt the French. You see the Cossacks made their first moves out into the trees. Up to them are the French 5th Corps Light Cavalry. Some Reserve Light Cavalry. Murat's heavy. Napoleon. is moved back to the Santon, flanked by Bernadotte's light cavalry, the Kellermans. Marshal Soult is making his way, having consulted with Napoleon, he's going to make his way back to his two divisions, Van Damme and Saint Hilaire, around Puntowitz. We're going to play that historically. He didn't start his move till 9 a.m., neither will we. Shifting down south, we see Lagrand has started to march towards Sokolnitz to give support to the southern end of the field. Margaron's light cavalry is similarly moving forward to give support. They're a long way off. They may not be able to help. So those are the first opening moves. There's going to be several more turns of sort of boring maneuver before we actually get engaged.